Hi guys, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. I'm going to be going to do um, Office Depot to show you guys how to uh, do the digital downloads through Office Depot online. So what you're going to do is www.officedepot.com. Okay, so we will come up to this screen. And I'm already logged in. So I'm going to take, it looks like I have something in my cart as well. I will take that out so we can start from scratch. Okay, so we're going to go to print and copy right there and copies flyer. So if you want to click there. Okay, so you'll have a screen that looks like this. Now we're going to upload your files. So hopefully you've saved your Unique in the Creek digital centers somewhere on your computer that you can easily find it. I have mine uh, a file on my desktop where I know where it is. Uh, you may have yours maybe in a cloud or a Dropbox or your Google Drive. I have mine on my computer. So I'm going to go with my device. Uh, mine is in my desktop. So I'll go on my desktop. My file is called finished wreath centers and there is all my PDFs for my wreath centers so I'm going to just pick anyone to upload so there it is right there and if you wanted to upload more than just one you can up keep uploading and then they'll download or upload all at the same time uh, for teaching purposes I'm just going to do the one upload so you click upload and you can see it uploading. Okay. Now it will probably look funny. Yep, it, because it does go on automatically. It goes on a letter size paper. Uh, that's just their default. Um, I'm going to change that. So this file is only one page. Uh, quantity, you can do one to a thousand of these if you want. You can give this one a job name, so you want maybe you just want to put "baby, it's cold outside." Just what the because you can reorder these really fast once you got it uh, in here. I can't type right now. Okay, and now I want to change it. You it either gives you letter, legal, or ledger. Eleven by seventeen is also called ledger size. So there is our file. So you can see it looks all nice. It's on there perfectly. Um, the You can't remove the instructions, but that's okay because once you cut out your circle for your insert, you, your instructions just go in the garbage anyways. So it's just giving you the step-by-step -step of what to do with that insert. So it is kind of important, but after you've done it a few times, you, you really don't have to read the instructions anymore. Okay, so we're not going to fit to size because fit to size will distort it a little bit. Um, this particular one, it's not, but I just like to leave it at keep to size because I know if I keep it to size, it's going to print out the size that I want it. It's single sided, so the default single sided. Um, it's in landscape mode. I'm not sure what will happen if we turn it and yeah, it's not supposed to be in portrait, so obviously it's got to be in landscape. There we go. Now, we're doing it on 24 pound paper, which is perfectly fine for our character board. If you were using our flower board, then you would want to change your pound to something like 100 pounds. So they gave you, they gave us the option of 65 pounds or 110 pounds. Um, I would personally take the 110 pound. Um, it's only 83 cents. And uh, why we want a, a higher pound is so you don't see the holes through the paper. So this more than covers it and it's, it, it's easy to Mod Podge. But we will be using the character form. So you don't need the expensive stuff. Uh, you can use the 24 pound, which is 67 cents or you can use 28 pound, which is 74 cents. So you really don't need to use that extra few cents, so we just need 24. 
okay um, finishing we're not doing any of the finishing we don't need it laminated cutted anything else so ours is very very basic so that's it for that so now we are going to add it to our cart okay so I'm going to proceed to check out or you can start another do uh, document um, for this I'm just going to proceed to check out okay so I am going to pick it up at the store um, they do have delivery as you can see delivery is $9.95 now that would be worth it if I was you know getting a couple hundred done but since I'm only getting one done I'm not going to pay $9.95 for shipping so I am going to put pick free store imp uh, store pickup and see there we go okay um, we don't have a coupon but sometimes if you sign up for um, their newsletters and stuff they have quite often have coupon codes they send you so it's it's really good if you sign up for that so we can check out with PayPal or we can check out with MasterCard I am just going to check out now you do need a um, an account with this uh, so if you need an account um, need to make an account go to create account now I wouldn't suggest uh, checking out as a guest only because if you do make an account all your information is in there and, and it'll stay in there as defaulted and you can uh, reorder different prints that you've already ordered before uh, without going through all the steps that you need to like ch changing the letter to ledger and stuff like that so now I want to make sure that there is a store near me so what you do is you just add your zip code. So I'll just okay. I'll put my zip code in and then go. So it comes up with all the different uh, Office Max and Office Depots that I can select from and how far they are. So obviously I'm going to use the closest one. So I'm going to select this store, but you can also make this your default store. Okay, um, I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to make that my def so I never have to check that again. Um, now, if you're going to pick them up or someone else is going to pick them up, you can also ask for a text message when your order is ready. So if you're out shopping and you want to be notified by text, you can click on that. They do send you an email when it is ready. So um, you could also go by that. Um, it is closed obviously so tomorrow it will be ready for pickup tomorrow at 10 a.m. but when they are open they do tell you they do send you a notification when it is ready to be picked up now here's all our billing information um, again you can put your uh, uh, codes and stuff in there if you need to now I'm not going to continue on with the the billing information because I'm not technically not ordering anything so what you would do is you fill out your stuff you could do PayPal your credit card however you want to pay and click continue um, once it's gone through it will give you a thank you for your order and you're done you will get an email once your order is confirmed so that's shortly after you order it and then you will get a follow-up email when your uh, order is ready for pickup unless you did text message you will get a text message message as well so as you can see it is quite easy and simple to order any of your prints and um, I hope you are good with this and learn something from it and it only take you a couple times to do it and it's pretty easy as you see okay thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.